All right, so it looks like we're gonna have a little fun race here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, a late night race here, as I like to do. We've got 13 guys in here, and it's a 12 lapper at Charlotte Motor Speedway. We got custom setups on, and we got one-time tire wear. So it's basically, um, you can imagine this. Let's say we're in a NASCAR race, and it's the Coca-Cola 600, as you can see right on the screen. So we're in the Coca-Cola 600, we're in Charlotte. We got 13 laps to go. Everyone's on new tires, or sorry, 12 laps to go. Everyone's on new tires, everyone just pitted, and um, it's a mad dash to the finish. So that's essentially what we're gonna treat this as. No saving tires, none of that, no saving fuel. It's basically just who can get 12 laps done the quickest. We're starting second because the last race we were just outlasted in terms of, so basically in this game, the way that you qualify is it's the best lap from the race before. So the person with the best lap during the race basically gets to start first the next race. So there's some guys who play it strategically. They actually will, will let let you let you go, and then they'll they'll basically start the lap like this and catch a little draft, and then they'll basically make the lap a little bit quicker than you. So um, we ended up getting outlasted a little bit. We're starting on the outside second place, but we got 12 laps to settle it with the guy in first and whoever's in third, fourth, fifth, sixth. See if someone will make their way through the field. But I got a pretty good feeling it's going to be a nice two-horse battle, and uh, we'll see who wins. Narrator Zach will enter and let you guys know what happened. Green flag officially in the air here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, and we get a beautiful shift point right there. We timed our shift like perfect, and we timed this shift perfect. So basically, we're fighting this guy. We're trying to get on the inside. He said, no way, Jose, but we end up getting a nice run off the corner here, and now we're basically firmly in the lead. He doesn't get quite a run, and now we got a little bit of a draft. So we're going to just send it into turns three and four and try to make this thing stick, guys. So that guy in first place, he might be a little upset with good reason as we barely make it off the corner here. <laughs> he might be a little bit upset with good reason because we, we try, that guy, he actually won last race, and we tried to pinch him down. So for me, this race, let's just take a step back. Uh, because I have seen this race before this race to me is about it's a good lesson for me because in racing you want to finish first but the fact is that the guy who is fastest doesn't always win the race so for me as I'm coming off of turn four I make a crucial mistake and now this guy ends up passing me and now I'm in second place now basically third but that guy somehow hits us right dead on the rear and saves us but anyways the net result of that is we are unnecessarily now in second place and that's really going to harm our chances to win here so we're coming into turns three and four and i can tell if you look at my face i look pretty confident i don't look too dejected as we make another mistake coming off of turn four but i'm still confident that i'm faster so watch as watch like my gap over the next lap as i take a little bit of a middle line and we have good grip now all right my hands are nice and steady i'm confident with the car i just need my car to come in and my tires to warm up so i'm not sliding around everywhere so we get a nice nice entry into turns three and four me and the leader both keep it off the wall and i get a nice run coming off of turn four and maybe i can go for the lead here so i'm confident at this point that i do have the fastest car and i don't get just enough of a run i'm not able to stick it in and now I actually end up getting a worse corner than him because he came in a little higher, whereas I had to basically turn the car more, which generated more friction, slowing down the car just a little bit more. So now coming into turns three and four, I sail it in just a little bit lower as we got guys trying to just ruin our race. But I exit the corner with kind of a head of steam, but he cuts off our run. And that was kind of a genius move because now I don't really have the run, but I kind of tell him, hey, buddy, I'm right there. I'm going to pass you. So kind of run him up the racetrack just a little bit. I didn't really try to do that because I respect this guy. I'm not really trying to make that happen. But again, we're loose off the corner and he takes the lead. So now coming into turns three and four again, I realize I have more grip than him. If I can just make something work, then it'll be good for me. But again, I'm super loose off the corner. And this is all, guys, this is not the car being too loose. This is just me driving too hard and not being able to really put together a focused lap. And now you can see my mindset kind of changes because I just got a really smooth corner. And that's all due to you learn these things 
you learn what you got to do so now my goal is to maybe get up there by the next lap and try to challenge this guy for the lead so as you can see another beautiful and stable corner we're able to really catch that car coming off of turn four so that's really what we're trying to do we're just trying to learn and make sure that we're able to do this stuff in the right way so i'm i, I literally caught this guy super quick but now watch what happens i'm getting my confidence build up and now i gotta run coming into turn four i'm gonna try to absolutely surprise this guy with a run into turn four but i clip kind of the apex and i put him in the wall and he ends up quitting the race right there i tried to let off and let him pass um i was trying to let off and let him pass to be honest but he ended up quitting the race um so now we got four laps to go and because i let off now we got another challenger so now we're just forced to line him up and take him down but that guy we've already built a gap on him so i don't think i'm gonna have any problem there so three and a half laps to go now here at charlotte and we're already building a gap i have no concern about this guy i know that if i just drive the rest of my race like i should then i'll be able to beat him but that's what we were kind of not that's what we were contending with was i know that we were the fastest car in this race but it never really worked out for us because we just couldn't we couldn't combine our speed with enough concentration and enough you have to have you if you have the speed you have to be able to have that speed while also being able to control the car it makes no sense it's like you can be the fastest player in basketball but if you're not able to control your speed you're gonna miss you're gonna blow the layup and that's essentially what i did i blew a bunch of layups as i blow another layup here but we still have enough speed to now be in front of that guy so uh guys i'm i'm happy to be out in front but to be honest just looking back on this race there's a lot to learn here and really making a fourth or fifth mistake in this race in the span of 11 laps is absolutely unacceptable and i can't continue to drive this way if i really want to you know get better at racing and, and just keep doing this stuff well so i gotta really look back on this take some notes and figure out what else to do right here as we come to one lap to go we are now firmly in the lead all we got to do really is just bring this thing home so just got to make sure that we can you know at least do the turn and not get a loose syndrome off the corner thank god we did so right here but now i just got to bring this home in one piece and we'll be ready to go here at charlotte motor speedway a little bit of a cocky entry into the corner but i know i got the win at this point so that's pretty much all there is to it and we will have taken this win very confidently unfortunately that guy did quit but a win is a win nonetheless all right so we ended up messing up there i didn't want to take out that guy uh going into three i attempted to give him some room as you guys saw um wait up for him a little bit but he got frustrated and quit so it is what it is guys not every win's gonna be great um but i like to get these little short races in because it, it really makes for like drama right like manufactured i guess you could say um because we have such a short window to establish who's in the lead and whatnot but it was a good battle it was definitely a good battle um and i definitely respect that guy i probably should say sorry i'm gonna i'm gonna message him now but um it was a good race if you guys got something out of this video please do me a favor hit the subscribe button we got some cool content coming up that's really aimed to like entertain be funny be awesome but also like educate guys because you know to finish like first in races like this even if it wasn't a great race but just to be in the conversation and do that it takes a lot of skill so if i can impart anything on the audience that's really my goal i want like the audience to really uh become as good as possible at racing that's like my goal with all this i think racing should be um something that you know people teach more because you got basketball coaches you got football coaches not a lot of racing coaches out there there are some um i feel like in the nascar community in specific you know a lot of people are out for themselves so if i can uh make a change in that then i will i'll try so appreciate you guys for watching ciao for now for the next one